Today, we've got another epic Yu-Gi-Oh! Mail Day and Collection update. I don't know if you all are ready to see all the incredible stuff I've been picking up. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Card Breaker. Welcome back to another epic video. It's that time again for another Card Breaker GT Collection Update, Mail Day video, whatever you want to call these things. I've been picking up a lot of really insane stuff over these last couple months. I think it's been about maybe two or three months since the last time we've done a Mail Day video. For those who do not know, I'm working on a lot of stuff for the collection. The big one is a Dual Monsters Era through 5D's first edition master set. So it's been challenging, but it's also been really fun to try and find a lot of really clean copy cards that I can't wait to show you guys today. Before we get into this insane mail day and collection update video, I do have three collector's rares from Rarity Collection 2 that I want to give away to one lucky winner. And for a chance to win, make sure you leave a like on today's video, make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you guys ring that bell, and let me know your favorite cards or items that were inside of this collection update mail day video. There's a lot of stuff, as always, for those who have been a follower on the channel since the very beginning, you know these mail days kind of get better and better every single time. But I know you guys are eager as I am to see what all we've been picking up. All right, guys, I want to kick things off with some stuff I actually just got in today. And for those who have seen Mail Day videos in the past, I always do my best to shout out the sellers or people that I bought the cards from. These are going to be a mixture of Facebook, Instagram, everything, eBay pretty much. So, yeah, we're going to do our best to try and remember everybody. So let's check out our first item. Actually, this is, might be a first for a Mail Day video. I've got... Some sealed booster boxes. These actually came in. I believe their name is Yu-Gi-Oh! Cash Out on Instagram. We've got an Absolute Power Force first edition sealed booster box. Don't worry. I've got... I do actually have more of those, but these are going to be for my sealed collection. I know, right? Cardbreaker GT is keeping something sealed. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I do have more of these. So big shout out to them for hooking me up with these boxes. Got a first edition Shining Darkness. And this is, this, this is a set that has some history on the channel. We actually just pulled the Ghost Rare from this set, so... Huge moment on the channel. Big shout out to Yugo Cash Out for making this possible. I'm trying to pick up some more 5D stuff, so it's really cool to pick up those sealed booster boxes. Now going into a couple things that, funnily enough, I couldn't wait to keep these actual cards sealed whenever I pick them up. Actually, no, wait, let me backtrack some. This first one that comes from somebody local to me, his name is, I think it's Yugi Nightmare, if I'm not mistaken. Local guy, great guy, go check him out. He has some of the most insane cards, but we picked up one of the most expensive and rare elusive cards a Necroface from Gladiator's Assault Secret Rare. <laughs> this card is very expensive, very hard to find, in really good condition, extremely short printed. So big shout out to them for making this possible to pick up some really big cards for the progress for the Master Set stuff. And then the next one, this comes from our guy Creed, a fellow Yugi Tooper. Make sure you guys go check him out. This is a Winged Karibo that he actually pulled from a random loose pack like he always does. I don't know how he does it every time, but he actually pulled this from a loose pack of the Lost Millennium Hobby Box, or Hobby Pack, excuse me. So yeah, we had to pick this up and I just, I couldn't wait to open the box or the package it came in. It was like, yeah, so we, we just got to see that one. And then the next one, this comes from our guy Damien on Instagram. There were some more commons and rares accompanied with this card, but... Uh, those are put to the side, so like this uh, this comes from a Stardust Overdrive. Victoria, it, it's, it's actually kind of funny. So Stardust Overdrive reminds me a lot of Gladiator's Assault, where these secret rares, I wouldn't say they're as short printed, but they're very tough to pull. Like this card averages around $350 to $400. Like it is a very expensive card. The Necroface, I think, is around like $600 plus, if I'm not mistaken. So this is just gorgeous. Big shout out to everybody so far, but we've got a lot more stuff to go into. Up next, I didn't actually directly buy this stuff from him. Actually, some of these cards I did. So I do this a lot with my guy, UK Blue Eyes. Dylan, I thank you for always sending me the good stuff that I always middleman to you over in the UK. So we actually got a lot of stuff that we picked up uh, from him and then also from other sellers in the UK. There is a slab. <laughs> so the first one is actually a Reflect Bounder DCREN. I'm still working on this set. It is very tough to finish this. So this is one of those that I, as I find them, I'm picking up these hollows, you know, the commons, the rares. It is a tough set to actually finish, especially in near mint plus or better condition. So we got a reflect bounder. These were actually purchased um, from somebody on Facebook and he basically middle it for me. So it was pretty nice. Got an agent 07. I think that's Omega seven. I don't think that's actually a zero. I forget how they did. I think it's Omega seven, but light of destruction, first edition secret rare. We've got a, Sky Scourge Invisil, Ultimate Rare from Force of the Breaker. This is European print, beautiful card. We got a Rock of the Vanquisher, Ultimate Rare. I just, I had to pick it up, it was so cheap, like why not? And then here is a cool one. This is a Pharaoh's Rare. This is the Ultra Pharaoh's Rare. Let's get this out of here. There is Dylan's card, go check him out. We've got some stuff coming up from him. 
So the Pharaoh's Rare, if you guys can see, it has the hieroglyphs on the card. Absolutely just beautiful. This is the Ultra Rare, so that means like the actual name is Ultra, versus the ones that we got here in North America. Those are the um, the, the Secret Pharaoh's Rare. Let me get that back into the top loader there. A couple more cards from my guy Dylan. We've got a Harpy's Feather Duster, Ultimate Rare. I hate that these are all in top loaders because you really can't see how gorgeous that ulti is, but it's insane. I think he, he middleman this one for me. I've actually bought that Blacklist Soldier from him. The next one is a Magicians of Bonds and Unity. This is from Phantom Nightmare. This is a European print. You can tell because it's not as sparkly, has a little bit more, you know, deeper saturation and colors to it. Then on the back is an Ultimate Flame Swordsman. I had to pick this up, you know, super cheap. Price dropped a lot, so why not go ahead and grab that Collector's Rare? And then these two I actually got from him. This is a Euro print Elemental Hero Aquaneos, first edition from Power of the Duelist. And then the last one is a Gladiator Beast Alexander Ultimate Rare. Not European, unfortunately, but still a very nice Ultimate Rare to check off those Master Set lists. And then this slab, it's nothing crazy, but this will be getting cracked for the collection. So this is a Damage Condenser. I want to say I'm actually getting one of these from uh, STF Gaming in a big lot, but whatever, I'll have another copy. It's not super expensive. I think I maybe paid like 15 bucks or something like that for this. Like it was, it was actually pretty cheap. I'm always curious to see what you guys think is your favorite as we go through these Mail Day videos, because there's just so many cards to choose from. This next one, who is this from? I think this is a slab. This is from King Sidra on Instagram. This is a slab that I will be cracking for the binder. So let's get that to the side. Check this out. I think, um, let's see here. So if you can probably guess, it has something to do with Cyber Dragons <laughs> coming from King Sidra himself. So yeah, we, we picked this up. This will be getting cracked for the binder, of course. We can get into this prison of bubble wrap. You know, he definitely uh, well protected. A lot of times when I buy slabs online, Uber. Thing you flipped over but a lot of times when i buy it by slabs people just like ship it inside of a bubble mailer no extra protection so this is nice to actually get this inside some extra bubble wrap so it is a bgs9 cyber twin dragon ultimate rare i'm i'm not a fan of bgs slabs like how thick they are but i'm not gonna lie like this just feels like it doesn't look like an actual pristine or not pristine like a trophy card but like it i don't know it just it feels like okay i can really just like Hold this card, it's gonna be safe, it's gonna be protected, but I hate, I hate the sleeve. I cannot stand it. Anyway, we're not talking about BGS stuff here. We're we're talking about we're we're cracking this, so there's a reason we got it. But look, like the subgrades are good. Like centering, I don't care for the collection. So it's got edges 9.5, corners 9.5, and then surface as a nine. So it's pretty good candidate. Like I see a tiny white spot up there for on the corner, but yeah, this this will definitely be getting cracked for the binder. Beautiful card. Thank you, my guy King Sidra. Up next, we've got something from who I don't know. Some of this stuff I'm really not gonna remember. As we go through it, I'll pop up information as I remember it, because like I don't remember if you don't send it with your like your handle on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, whatever. And I'm not gonna remember what is this? Oh, Ultimate Insect Level Five. This was actually an eBay sale. So uh, this one, I don't remember the seller. I'll pop them up if I can remember. But Ultimate Insect Level Five from Flaming Eternity. Another just I love Flaming Eternity Ultimate Rares. It might be like I always say that Rise of Destiny is one of my favorites. But Flaming Eternity is really, really up there. All right, going into the next one, let's see what we've got. This is from uh, KP, KPC Silver on Instagram. So I do actually remember who this one comes from. I don't, let's see, I don't know how we're just going to get into this one. We cut into this. Let's see what it is. I really do not remember what we got from him. It is, oh, Aaron the Light Sworn Monk. This is a secret rare from Light, we'll just leave it on there because I don't want to actually like damage it. I'm trying to rip it off, but it is a secret rare first edition from Light of Destruction. It was a minty card, you know, for my collections for these master sets and other like side sets and like random things I'm working on. I try and only collect near mint plus the mint stuff. Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure we're always recording. But yeah, this is just a beautiful card. One day, eventually, I keep saying it, I will show you guys a binder update and collection update. We are getting there. This uh, this next bit of mail comes from Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Shop, I believe is their name on Instagram. I bought from them a bunch. Oh, we got a note. Let's see if that's all. Yeah, that is all. So it says, Ryan, always a pleasure, bro. <clears throat> Enjoy the mint goodies. And if this is on YouTube, hit a double bicep pose. All right, here we go. Double bicep, just for you. Boom. <laughs> oh, he knows me too well. So let's see what we got for my guy, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Shop. Let's get into this here. I've bought so much stuff from him over the years. He's a great seller, great person, great with communication, feedback, everything. So if you're looking for somebody, like he regularly hosts different like claim sales, he has a bunch of faded stuff, vintage stuff. That's kind of his specialty. So let's see. I forget what we actually got from him. Oh, yes. I, this is one of like the, the random things I didn't expect him to have. Is there something else in here? Is this is this all? Let's get this off of here without actually damaging anything. So is it just the Strong Wind Dragon or we get something else? 
can't remember. Let's see. Let's see. Doop, 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 doop. So Strong Wind Dragon, that is an ultimate rare. Oh, yeah, we got more. So Strong Wind Dragon, first additional ultimate rare from Raging Battle. On the back here is a Guardian Sphinx. Yeah, I totally forgot I bought this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go through a lot of these and not remember like anything that I bought for the most part. So those are awesome. We've got a Black Pendant from Magic Roller. Somehow still need this card. It's like the cheapest card from the set. And then on the back here, oh, that's a big one. Dimension Fusion. So these were all supposed to be like near mint plus the mint basically that I got from him. So this is a big card to mark off. It's actually pretty expensive. Still a playable card that you see, you know, here and there. And then going into our next one, uh, Diego Zamora. I'm trying to think of who that is. Um, I do not remember. Maybe they'll have their information in here. Unified cards. There we go. I can like their name was like right there. I just couldn't remember exactly. So, well, I just spoiled it. So we picked up a Cyber Dark Keel PSA 8. This was actually really, really clean. Well, I hope so at least. You sent me a bunch of pictures and videos and stuff, so this will be getting cracked. Of course, all these slabs, none of, I don't think there's I don't think there's any slabs that are gonna be safe after this video, <laughs> but they're all gonna get cracked. Let's see what our guy Unified Cards hooked us up with, just as a freebie for, for purchasing from them if we can actually get into this team bag. So go check them out. Like all these sellers today, guys. Oh my god, where is this thing? Okay, it's on the other side. Go check out all these sellers, because they're just they're all great people. You know, they all try and do a lot of the same stuff that you know I do, you guys do. So here we go. We got a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That is very cool. So, oh, this is for the giveaway. Okay. So, hey, we're going to toss this into the giveaway, guys. So go check out Unified Cards for this giveaway. That is awesome. So that's actually a really beautiful sleeve, too. So I'm going to put that straight into our giveaway pile to make sure that gets added. And then, of course, it looks like this one is for me. I don't know what he decided to decided to toss in for the GT man, but he knows I do like my waifus. And we've got some other stuff in here. These stickers are so cool. That is, that is his sticker? What? That is a really nice sticker. So it's got Broly, Blue Eyes, Charizard. He's he's holding a Pokeball in the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> that is such a cool sticker. And then we got a Vegeta sticker there. A Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight green letter text. That is awesome. A Dragon Ball card. And uh, what is what is this? I don't know what this one is. I'm not too familiar with all the anime, so you guys have to let me know, obviously. I'm probably going to get flamed in the comments for not knowing that one. But this is a Dragon Ball card. This is Goku. Of course, I know that one. This is really cool. Dragon Ball cards actually have some really... This unique artworks, different rarities, really cool stuff. So this is awesome, guys. Like so many cool cards, and honestly, like we need to go back and see what we actually picked up from him. And that was a uh, <laughs> that was his ultimate rare right here. We aren't slowing down anytime soon. Up next is one of my really good friends and a huge collector. The guy has so many slabs. He creates so many cards. It's insane. My guy, Big Al Alexander Yankley, I think is your first and last name. Go check him out. He has his own eBay store. I'll pop that up, of course, on the screen. But we picked up a ton of slabs. He has helped me so much with my collection. So here is one bundle. <laughs> well, I just spoiled one. I just tossed that one. But that is a Blade Edge Ultimate Rare First Edition from Elemental Energy. And then I do actually have another little mini package here. So let's go ahead and get everything out. So here's the other one. Yeah, we picked up a bunch of stuff from him over the last couple months. And I've kind of just been saving it, hoarding it pretty much. So let's go into this first one so you guys can see what we've got. Again, all these will be getting cracked for the binder. Well, actually, no. There, there are actually there are a few slabs that are going to be safe. I, <laughs> I forgot about that. So let's go this way just just to keep the suspense a little bit more, guys. Just to have some fun. So these next ones. So we've got a dark hole. This is a PSA seven. Not many times do I buy anything below an eight, but my guy Al graded this himself. Said like I don't understand why it got the seven. It pretty much, you know, he's guessing because it has, uh, you know, the faded look to it. So, and it's a wavy dark hole. So this card will be getting cracked for the binder. Absolutely. Next up is a Chaos Command Magician PSA 8. This one is actually really clean minus like a little tiny like speck, I think, on the bottom corner there, which I'm completely fine with. No worries there. That will be getting cracked. Next one is a DD Warrior Lady. This will not be getting cracked. This helps me get one step closer to all Dark Crisis PSA 10 hollow slabs. I'm like... I think like five cards away and there's some more in this in this opening next up is a swords of revealing light psa 9 first edition from lob wavy and faded this card just looks insane so check this out guys you guys can see the deep waves in there oh yeah that looks stunning i cannot wait to crack that and hold that in my hands i <laughs> cannot wait we got some more slabs from our guy al like, like I said, go check him out, guys. He has, I think, like, well over 500 slabs. Like, it is nuts how many how many cards this guy grades. But he, if, if you need it, he probably has it. Like, I'm not even kidding. And it's all vintage stuff. Next slab is a Forceful Sentry PSA 9 from Magic Ruler. That will be getting cracked as well. Up next, we've got a Reflect Bounder. We just saw one of these, but this time it is a first edition PSA 10, not a EN print raw copy. So this will be staying sealed 
of course, in that slab because there's another one I need. And then the last one is another Dark Crisis slab. It is a Butterfly Dagger Elma. This one has been very tough for me to find in PSA 10. So I, like I said, I think I need like five more. I need like a Different Dimension Dragon, Exodia Necros, uh, Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Cost Down, and there's, I think there's one more. I can't think of the name right now, but oh my God, Big Owl. It is insane, dude. Like that that's a fat, hefty stack of slabs. And we've got some more. Don't... <laughs> Don't think we're slowing down anytime soon. Oh, these are just sticking to each other now. So we've got another slab. This was actually in a bigger box and package from our guy, Samora. I I want to say they're on like YouTube, maybe. I can't really remember. I know that they do some stuff on eBay. They are in Canada. They had something on their store that I wanted to check out. So here is their information. Samora TCG, thank you for your order. Please a review. So yeah, I know they're on eBay for sure, but we've got another slab we'll be cracking. It is a Cyber Dark Edge PSA 9 from Cyber Dark Impact. Cyberdark Impact low-key has some really nice ultimate rares, even for cards that aren't European print. So to go with our Cyberdark Keel, we've got the Edge. So we just need the uh, Edge, Keel, what's the other one I'm forgetting? Um, I, I don't remember the name of the other one. Now, there's, there's three that make up the Cyberdark Dragon, but you know, whatever, I can't remember the name of that one right now. Up next is something from our guy. This is Scoop Phase TCG. I really forgot what we had. What, what did we buy? I don't remember. <laughs> what is... Oh! A Raikou Lightsworn Hunter from Light of Destruction. This actually just got reprinted, but this is the first edition one from Light of Destruction. Of course, this one cannot be reprinted in first edition. Beautiful pickup to add to the Light of Destruction binder. Uh, up next is, I think this might be a Facebook seller. I don't know if they do stuff beyond just like Facebook groups, but let's see what we've got. It is a Magicians of Bonds and Unity from Phantom Nightmare. The red letter, or actually the, the red one, so not the orange one from Legacy Destruction. Beautiful card. I'm I'm loving these. I actually have all of them now. The only thing I'm missing still to this day is a European print from the Duelist Nexus, but I'll get one of those one of these days. I think this was, this next slab is a random eBay buy, if I'm not mistaken. So up next is a Flash of the Forbidden Spell. This is from Cyberdark Impact again as well. It's actually kind of funny. So just another awesome card that this foiling, like is pretty nuts, guys. Like this actually looks really, really nice. Let me get some more light on that. Yeah, that is incredible. Cyberdark Impact just looks so good. So, so, so good. We've got two cards coming up. Um, this is from our guy, Ruxin. Not that he needs a shout out, but, you know, big shout out to Ruxin for everything he does and all the cards he sent to me over the years and just everything, you know, really everything. We've got a wavy Maneater Bug. So you guys can see it's got some light waves going on in there. Not the waviest Maneater Bug, but it is a PSA 9. Basically, we, um, whenever you purchase some of my mystery packs for version 1, we kind of did a trade for this, so... This will be getting cracked. RIP to all these slabs are going to be getting cracked. Like, it's insane. And then the last thing I got from him is um, to complete the series of the Pharaoh's Rares. So this is the Black Lesser Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, Pharaoh's Rare, but the Secret Rare this time. So it has the Secret Rare name, not the Ultra Rare name, like the uh, the other one did from earlier. So you guys can see it's got, like, the rainbow silverish uh, text up there. So there is the Pharaoh's Rare. We got a couple more. And uh, let's see. I, I don't remember who these came from. I think it's maybe Uber Trading, if I'm not mistaken. So some more slabs. Big surprise. I buy a lot of slabs to crack. <laughs> so yeah, if, if, if I'm buying a slab, most of the time I'm going to be cracking it for the binder. So our first one here is a Goblin Elite Attack Force that I got for an absolute freaking steal. It is in a print, but you know, it is what it is. So that one, our next one is a Demise, King of Armageddon. He graded all these cards himself. So I know he told me basically this one's like pack fresh. It's just like OC. So we're going to check it out. But even in NA print, this card actually looks really, really nice. PSA 8. And then this one's actually really freaking cool. This is one of the few European print ultis that I own. And it is a Brawn Mad King of Dark World. The I wish I had my card side by side right now to show you guys how crazy this looks in comparison to the NA print, but look at this foiling. It is insane. <laughs> like, absolutely insane. I cannot wait to crack this out of this slab just to take a closer look at it. We're going to have a lot of fun after this opening as we go through and crack like all these slabs, but don't worry. We're not slowing down anytime soon. We've got a lot more mail to come. Let's see what we've got next. I believe this box comes from Gezi TCG. I bought a lot of stuff from Gezi, Gezi TCG over the years. Um, I've bought uh, mostly, mostly it's all vintage pretty much, but um, let's see, we've got a couple cards here, and then I think I got a slab from him, big surprise, <laughs> that will be getting cracked, of course, so let's see the slab first, and we'll go into some of the singles, which I think they were all just, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they were all just like random stuff I needed for my master set, so we got a Vanity's Fiend from Cyberdark Impact Ultimate Rare, 
First edition, PSA 9 that will be getting cracked, and an Elemental Absorber, same thing. First edition, Ultimate Rare, this is from Enemy of Justice. So I got those just because they were a really good price, couldn't pass them up pretty much. And then in here, I believe if I'm not mistaken, these are all like Legacy of Destruction, Light of Destruction, oh my god, not Light of Destruction, Legacy of Destruction, right? <gasps> I'm so too many sets now, yeah. LOD, Legacy Destruction. So a bunch of like commons and rares that we needed, some stuff from IOC, MFC, 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 DCR. So there's just a bunch of stuff in here that I've been picking up from him. I don't want to be like too rough with these because they are in really good shape. I want to keep them that way. <laughs> um, I did pay, you know, a little bit of a premium to pick up actual mint copies of these cards. So yeah, I want to make sure we keep them that way. So let's get this top loader out of the way. We got some more from Legacy Destruction, Spirit Ryu, uh, Double Snare, some more short prints, IOC stuff, IOC, DCR, DCR, more DCR. I needed, so it was funny, I went through and checked up on a lot of my DCR stuff, and I was like, wow, these cards are nowhere near up to standard nowadays, so we got to do some upgrading, <laughs> which that's what we did, pretty much picking up all that stuff from him. And then, you know, big shout out to Gezi for everything you've done, bro. Really, really appreciate it. And then this next one actually comes from another really big collector, um, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! So... Here we go, checking this out. Don't want to reveal their information, of course. Um, this, if I'm not mistaken, is a bunch of Tactical Evolution stuff. Yeah, so I'm not going to go through all of this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Tactical Evolution and First Edition LOB. So these are all just Tactical Evolution pack fresh commons and rares that we're going to keep. Just like that, I'm not going to flip through all of those because we're going to be here a while if we decide to do that. But we do actually have some First Edition LOB cards that, you know, why not? Let's quickly go through these because it's LOB. <laughs> Uh, I cannot wait to put all these into the binder. I uh, paid definitely a pretty penny picking all these up from him, but that's what you got to pay. You know, the price you pay for, for pack fresh minty stuff, a lot of rares, commons, just a bunch of stuff in here, guys. So cannot wait to actually make some, some nice progress in the LOB binder, because right now my LOB is actually looking really slim. <laughs> I don't have very much for LOB. So it, it's definitely going to be very nice to go through, sleeve these up in the strictly sealed sleeve. You know, shout out to him. I don't know if he's going to watch this mail day video or not, but... You know, big shout out to him. If you guys need any strictly sealed sleeves, I do actually have a discount code down below in the description. Get you guys that 5% off to save you guys some money. But definitely go check him out if you need some of the best sleeves on the market. Some of the most aesthetically pleasing, very, very beautiful stuff. So yeah, big shout out to Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Big shout out to Gezi TCG for all just the vintage goodies. Keeping this going, I don't remember who this is from, but we're going to check this out as we go into it. Oh, this is, um, shoot, what's his name? Uh, Joker, I think it's Joker TCG, if I'm not mistaken. He is a big whatnot seller. He's on YouTube doing a little bit of stuff, but we picked up some stuff from him on one of his whatnot streams. So I don't remember what all we got, but obviously we're going to check it out. So this is actually the Discord that Al is the, uh, I think he's the co-owner or moderator on. So if you guys want to scan that, you know, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but it is TCG Underground. They changed it now to Card Hub, so there's a different name. But we've got an Ultimate Rare Brow Huntsman of Dark World. This is the NA print. You guys can see... Not as uh, purpley and yellow <laughs> as the European print is, but it's still very, very nice. So we got the brow. There is a Radiant Mirror Force Ultimate Rare from Force of the Breaker. Just a stunning card. And then this was, I think, like a free giveaway. I won during one of his whatnot streams. So big shout out to him, of course, for the hookup. Up next, we've got my guy, Grand Poppy's Card Shop. He needs no introduction just because of how much spice that the guy sells. It's insane. <laughs> But let's see what we picked up from my guy, Grand Poppy. I think this is, is it two cards, one cards? I can't really remember what, what we got. So let's get that to the side. We've got a Black Lesser Soldier, Legendary Swordsman. This is a European print. I actually have an NA, so now I get to match my guy with the Collector's Rare for European, which is beautiful. And then a Dark Magician. I just had to grab this because it is a European print. Secret Rare just looks so nice. And then this is the Black Lesser Soldier from the newest... Uh, Battles of Legend, I forget the name of it, um, what, whatever it is, but it's a secret rare. It's it's something that, like, one day I'm going to try and collect, like, every version of Black Luster Soldier. So, at least the hollows, you know, I don't care too much for some of, like, the commons and rares, but, you know, I'm going to try and get everything for Black Luster Soldier. And then we got one more card from our guy, Grand Poppy. Let's get this taken care of and out of here. It is a Chaos Angel. This card just looks so stunning as an ultimate rare. Let's try and get this out of here so we can take a look at it a little bit closer. Beautiful card, beautiful, beautiful card. Go check out Grand Poppy because he always has the spice. So here it is, a Chaos Angel. Wow, it's still like, let's see, we get some get some extra light on it, but yeah. This card just looks nuts. It's definitely one of the coolest modern Ultimate Rares. I, uh, it's funny, I actually completed the o OTS, the OP24 set by picking up everything in this Mail Day video, so that's actually really cool. Not, not too often you get to say that. <laughs> 
And then our next one, this is, um, I think his name's Yu-Gi-Oh! Sanchez. This is one single card, but it is a banger of a card. I do actually own one of these already, but I couldn't pass up the deal he had. It is a Magician of Black Chaos Ultimate Rare that was, like, absolutely mint. There was nothing wrong with the card. Had it, He had it for, I'll keep it on there, I won't mess up the card, but absolutely mint. Beautiful card, same thing, let's get some light on this bad boy. Beautiful, beautiful card. Very excited. Like, I wasn't actually, I wasn't, in, like, expecting to pick up another copy of that, but for the price, I really couldn't pass it up. <laughs> and then next stuff we've got, this is Arts Cards, I believe. A-R-C's Cards. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it, but we got some stuff. I think they're a newer Instagram seller, and I kind of just took, like, took a gamble on it just to see, like, how everything would turn out. And uh, so far, everything's been good. You know, they were uh, very, very transparent with all of the, the photos and everything like that. But how do we get into this? We managed to get into the bubble wrap. I don't know what it is, but sometimes stuff is really difficult. So here we go. Let's see what we got. We got a Junk Berserker First Edition Ultimate Air from Extreme Victory. I think I, I, I can't remember if I had one of these. I think I have one maybe as a European Ultimate Rare. I wanted to grab this. It was like five bucks. I'm like, for a cover card, five Ds ulti? Yeah, I'll take that any day. <laughs> and then the next card is another Ultimate Rare. is a Karakuri Shogun MDL-00 Beret from Star Strike Blast. So this one, you don't, you just don't see minty Star Strike Blast stuff all that often. I don't know what it is. The card, or the, the set was actually pretty short printed. It was only printed in first edition, never had any reprint, so it's tough to find. So big shout out to our cards for hooking us up with that. Next one is, oh my gosh, my guy Tricky Ending, somebody that definitely does not need an introduction. One of the most legendary people in the community. Let's see what he hooked us up with. This actually, we did a trade. I had a faded card that he really needed to help kind of complete or almost complete his collection on MRD first edition faded stuff. So let's see what we picked up from him. He, wow, triple top loaded plus the card saver. <laughs> what, what's in here? <laughs> I know what it is guys, but uh, so we're gonna save that. He actually, he usually throws in some freebies. Let's see what he hooked us up with. Oh, what? A ring of destruction and a master monk. Um, it, it does have a binder ding, but that is a first edition ring of destruction ultimate from Duelist Pack Kaiba. Tricky, Peyton, you are an insane dude. Like you are absolutely insane. So let's see what we uh, what we actually traded for. Those were just the freebies. So here is the actual card. It is a Change of Heart First Edition from Metal Raiders. Beautiful card. It's not fully like heavy fade, but this is pretty faded. Like I am very, very happy. Let's make sure everything looks good. Very, very happy to add this to the collection. Change of Heart is not a cheap card and not an easy card to come by. Basically, he told me, he's like, look, I actually got this. There was a guy like locally who cracked the box and he picked it up from the guy. So it's packed fresh, mint, like literally nothing wrong with the card, except there is like a little spot on the hollow. I think it's like right here in the wing that's kind of like missing a little spot. But I'm like, I do not care. Like, I absolutely do not care. So big shout out to Tricky for hooking us up with that. And then this, what happened here? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't remember. We got to go into this just to see what it is. It's, it's some slab from somebody. Actually, wait, this just came in recently. Yes, I remember what this is. This comes from my guy, Christian's TCG. He graded this Elemental Hero Gaia. I was selling it for a really, a really good price, like a really, really fair price. So this, of course, will be getting cracked for the binder. Elemental Hero Gaia, first edition, Ancient Prophecy. Secret Rare, definitely don't see the Ancient Prophecy Secret Rares all that often, especially in as good a condition. This this looks good, like, oh my God, that hollow foil is insane. Well, there we go, just completely dropped the card, hopefully I didn't ding it, <laughs> but it's in the slab, so it should be okay. And then next up is, um, what's his name? Uh, Spectrum TCG or Spectrum Collectibles? I think it's Spectrum Collectibles. We've got a Victory Viper XX03. This is a ultimate rare from Enemy of Justice. This is a European one though. So this actually has some really nice foiling. Let's see if I can pick it up there on the camera through the through the top loader. I wanna do that too much with some of these and actually damage something, especially with as many like dirty things I've been handling all these packages. But we got a... Uh, about like six or so more things to go, guys. How much have you guys been enjoying this mail day so far? It's been a lot of fun for me because some of this stuff I just don't remember ordering. Like, I really don't. <laughs> We've got something. This is actually from um, uh, Cameron Gaming TCG. We've got a Cyber Shadow Gardener. He was selling this for a really good price. And come to find out, I actually already have one. But it definitely does not hurt to have two because now I can compare the two and then see which one looks better. So big shout out to him for hooking me up with this. It is uh, a beautiful Cyber Dark Impact. And honestly, like... Even if I have two, I'm going to keep them because I just I love Cyber Dark Impact. I think it's one of the, like, the most slept on sets. Well, I don't know how long the face cam decided just to disconnect. I don't know what's going on with it. I've tried to figure it out. You are a computer nerd. Let me know if there's something you can help me with and try and get this worked out. I don't So I don't know what we missed from the face cam reaction, but this comes from our guy. Um, again, his name's Ty. I'll pop up his information. 
I can see his Instagram logo. I just can't think of his name right now, but he tossed in a That Wacky Alchemy Ultimare from Abyss Rising that I will need. And then of course this beautiful Crusader of Endymion. Let's hopefully we can hope we can get through this the rest of this actual opening. Um, up next, I I opened these like a month ago. I don't know why I opened it. I took it out and tossed away the package. So I don't know who these actually come from. Maybe maybe I'll remember as we go into them. Let's see what we've got. Um, 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 oh, this is um, oh my gosh, Coffee and Yu-Gi-Oh. Coffee and Yu-Gi-Oh. She was doing a really really big claim sale on her story, and we picked up a bunch of stuff. So I do remember now. We got a Reflacia Seduction from the um, Soul of the Duelist Ultimate Rare. An Enervating Mist, which I actually come to find. I do actually have one of these, so whatever, I have two now. And then a Cyberblader Ultimate Rare from Elemental Energy. Beautiful card. Unfortunately, that is NA, but still looks nice. And then here is a big one, guys. She was actually going to grade this card, but decided to actually sell it, and we picked it up. It is a Armatile the Chaos Phantom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card, guys. That is pack fresh. She pulled it from a loose pack. I think she got from Strictly Sealed, if I'm not mistaken. So big shout out to him again. But Chaos, Phantom, this card just looks insane. Another Ancient Prophecy Secret Rare. Fusion of all the three Sacred Beasts. Just a beautiful card that is going to look really nice in the binder. Have I made it really difficult for you guys to choose a favorite or favorites? You know, down below, just like let me know what your favorites have been so far. There's been so many things. So let's go into our next one again. I think we have maybe five, six, like... Maybe like six to eight different packages left, but we'll go through them, you know, somewhat quickly. But this, we just want to enjoy this. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This is the Red Eyes Black Dragon from the um, the Joey game, The Power of Chaos. Joey promo. This was like like $115 on eBay. It's a PSA 10. Like, this card was an absolute steal. This will be staying slapped. Like, I will not be cracking that. This is one of my, this is actually my favorite artwork for Red Eyes. My favorite version of Red Eyes and my favorite printing of Red Eyes. So this card has a lot going for it for favorites, favorites, favorites all around. Up next, we've got my guy Jojo. I think it's like Jojo Ulti on Instagram. Uh, Joseph Strickland is actually his name. So we picked up, big surprise, an ultimate rare from him. <laughs> this is a 5Ds Ulti, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what he decided to hook us up with. Oh, we can see it actually through here. It is a Blackwing Armor Master, first edition ultimate rare from Crimson Christ. So let's, let's get this out of these, like, just different layers of top loaders. We got that top of the top loader taken off, so you guys can actually see it a little bit more clear now. It is a Blackwing Armor Master from Crimson Crisis, one of my favorite 5D sets, the set that actually introduced the Blackwing. So beautiful ultimate rare. Big shout out to my friend. Big shout out again to all the sellers in this mail day video. It is just insane. Insane, insane, insane. Up next, we've got... Um, I do not know what this is. Do not know who the seller is either, so we're just going to have to see and hopefully hope that I remember. Um, it Okay, we got package inside of a package. What do we got? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What do we got? Oh my god, come out. What What is in here? Why does it not want to come out? Is it like... Oh, oh okay, there we go. Oh, it is the Magicians of Bonds and Unity from Legacy of Destruction. This is the North American print, so I guess is this taped on there? Yeah, I'll worry about that later, but it is the Magicians of Bonds and Unity... The fourth one and the last one in the series that we're going to get for Bonds and Unity. I don't know where to put this. I'll put that right there. But I think that actually came from a Facebook seller, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And then up next, I think this is another Facebook seller. I buy a lot of stuff off Facebook's groups just because, like, you know, why not? But let's see what we got here. Let's see what this is. Come on, get this out. Um, are they... Is that, that one empty? Oh, I, I remember. I moved the cards around because I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I only need one of these, but, you know, I put them both inside of there. <laughs> oh, there's one more card. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's why I decided, you know, it's probably, probably should double check, but let's check these out, see what we got. We got a TG Blade Blaster from Extreme Victory, first edition Ultimate Rare. TG Halberd Cannon, first edition from Extreme Victory Ultimate Rare. And a Dark City from Power of the Duelist. So these cards were all supposed to be near mint plus the mint. We're going to have to go through and check them out. When Every time I buy something from Facebook sellers, you know, I'm always a little bit skeptical. Just because they're not the most honest all the time, but, you know, we're going to do our best. So we're going to check those out later. And then up next, I don't remember what this is. Oh, my guy, Red Echo One Gaming. We actually just got uh, this from him and some other stuff that's going to be coming in very soon. So go check them out on Instagram. Let's try and get into this cardboard contraption. Well, that was uh, protected really well. It was wrapped up with a bunch of like the painter's tape, so it was a pain in the butt to get out, but it is a Mobius the Frost Monarch. This card was so clean when he showed it to me in the videos and pictures, so I am so excited to actually find one of these. It is, it's been tough to find this card in actual near mint plus the mint condition, but it is the ultimate rare from Soul the Duelist. So big shout out to Red Echo One Gaming for the hookup. 
We've got four things left, guys. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. It's it's a long video. Every time we do a mail day video, it's always a long one. Um, up next, I don't remember who this is from. I don't remember what it is. So, you know, that's kind of the how this goes when you save up mail for a couple months. Let's see what we've got. It is another slab. Big surprise there. Um, this is just some protective cardboard. You know, it's actually nice. I do usually save the cardboard. And then we've got our slab. It is a, ooh, Inferno Fire Blast from first edition. This is first edition Soul of the Duelist. So this will be getting cracked. I do need one of these for the binder. So big pick up there. Very excited to get that. We've got a lot of cracking ahead of me, that's for sure. Um, this next one, this is actually a Facebook seller. I just got this in the other day. I do remember what this is. So I will, uh, let's, let's see if we can get into this one. Oh my God, another one that's got some crazy taping and stuff going on. Let's see if we can actually get this one a little bit easier. We managed to get that one out and it is a beautiful Battle Fader first edition Ultima Rare from Abyss, or not Abyss Rising, oh my God. Absolute Power Force, the box that we just got in. So this is awesome. This card is very expensive, very difficult to find in near mint plus the mint condition because everybody plays it in, if I'm not mistaken, Edison format. So beautiful card. I, he actually showed me some videos and pictures and this card looked mint. I got a, uh, I think a Scrap Dragon from him not too long ago. That also in my last Melda video that came in in really good condition. And then two more things left, guys. Two more things left. Let's see what we've got for this Melda video. I think, do I remember what this is? I, I think I remember the seller. Um, I don't know. We got to just go into these and see what we've got. So let's see. It's last two things of mail for this mail day video. There is one shipping shield there. Let's see if we have another one. We got some more. What do we got? I really, I do not remember like at all what is in here. <laughs> I don't remember the name. It doesn't look familiar. And then I don't remember, um, don't remember what this is at all. Like one bit, but that's, that's the fun of these mail day videos. We kind of get to surprise ourselves again. So let's see what we've got. It is, Ooh, who is this from? I don't remember. Is that all that's in there? I'm I'm always skeptical with these shipping shields. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm a top loader guy. I definitely prefer top loaders. Um, who are these from? If I can remember who these are from, then I'll definitely be sure to pop these up on the screen. But we've got a Lifestream Dragon from Extreme Victory. Beautiful Ultimate Rare. Um, is there two cards in there? That's just double sleeve. That's no, double sleeve. Moon Dragon Kila from Absolute Power Force First Edition. A Grave Oja. I don't know why I bought that because I have like four copies of those. <laughs> A Dark Magician. Oh, maybe this was, um, I think this was somebody on Discord, actually. I found this in one of the, the like, buy-sell trade groups, but first edition, Ultimate Rare, Dark Magician. I always pick those up whenever they're cheap. Just, you know, why not? Because it is a cheap card. And then, let's see what else we've got. Yeah, I believe this was somebody from one of the, the Discord, Discord buy-sell and trades that I just happened to come across. We got a first edition Birthright from Strike of Neos and a Lightning Chidori. First edition ulti from Cosmo Blazer. Yeah, so I I definitely do not remember their name. I'll be I'll try and pop it up if I can if I can remember, but I don't really remember. <laughs> but here we go, guys. The last thing of this mail day, and this actually this was not intentional, but this last bit of our mail comes from our guy Plano Trade Exchange. We've picked up so many good cards from him over the last couple years, and this is by far like one of my favorites, favorites, favorites that I've managed to pick up. I don't want to spoil this guy, so hold on because I did actually. Um, I got the rest of the package like undone just a bit because I wanted to make this like super special for you guys to see it. So let's get into it. I thought it was kind of funny because he actually used part of the slab that he cracked as a protector for them. So hopefully that didn't mess up anything. I don't think it did because he actually looks like he protected it like even further on top of that. But yeah, so these were all cracked from some slabs. You guys, he, he cracked so many different cards for me. It's insane. But let's uh, let's not spoil this again. This is just going to be freaking awesome to show you guys these cards if I can actually get into it. So we got that open. I just I don't want to actually mess up anything. So let's see. Is it? I think it's a couple cards. Yeah, it's a couple ones. So this is the big one, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go just like all the way down. So Plano Trade Exchange, big shout out, bro. Really appreciate all that you do for me and for the community. Oh my god! <laughs> Starting us off with a Solar Recharge First Edition Ulti from. Light of Destruction, just a stunning card. This might be one of the best looking ultimate rares like in existence. This card is insane. Absolutely insane, guys. By far, like one of the best looking. One of the best. And I mean that. I'm not even kidding. And then up next, we've got a this is um, what's his name? Dark Knight Parshaf, I think. This was a pretty cheap, it was like a $20, $25 ultimate rare, but it was part of a bundle deal, so I got that plus some other good stuff uh, from him, of course. So actually, that's the other way there. So there is the Dark Knight Parshat PSA 9 that was cracked. And then the last one for this amazing mail day video. Let me know, guys, what your favorite card was or cards or, you know, there's been so many cards you guys can pick from. This might be my favorite. You know, last one was fun with the Blue Eyes Ultimate Rare, but this there's been just so much variety. But anyways, enough blabbering. 
We've got a Flame Swordsman from LOB. This is a wavy copy. One of my favorite hollows from LOB. I'm going to be very careful to get this out of here. So this was a cracked PSA 9. Had my guy crack it. And yeah, this card is just insane. By far one of the best looking, best looking hollows from LOB. It's not faded, unfortunately, but it is first edition PSA 9. Oh my gosh, this card, I can't believe like I'm literally holding a Legend of Blue Eyes card. Like this is just nuts. Like obviously we held the Dark Hole, we held the Swords Revealing Light, but for some reason Flame Swordsman just feels extremely special. This is just a gorgeous card. Got it for a really good price. He always, always, always hooks up everybody anytime you buy some stuff from him. So go check them out. Big shout out to all the sellers and all the people that provided the mail day for this collection update. There will be some updates coming soon. I've just got so much stuff going on that it's hard to get everything kind of in the binders and of course in the sleeves. But if you guys want to support the channel further, make sure you consider joining as a channel member. Make sure, of course, if you like this video, make sure you guys do join and subscribe for some more epic content, mail day videos, and just, just incredible stuff to come. I do have to give a massive shout out to my channel members, Rare Hunter X, Sargoni666, K Dragon, Mark Donnelly, Cody Slater, Attention Duelist, Josh Evans, Michael P. Sutton, Lazy Dane, Drew E, Evan Rudolph, Allison Snell, Will Breaks TCG, Ram22, Roland Pryor, TJ Flesner, and Austin and Kayla. Thank you all for supporting the channel. I do hope you have a nice day. Hope you have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.